Well, it's May 2nd. And this is the first thing I'm recording. Sorry. <coughs> Getting a little... I'm sorry. A little contact. <laughs> what are you doing over there? Huh? What? I'm helping people. I'm a philanthropist. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, is that what it is? Oh, I couldn't tell. Anyway, this is our first uh, thing I'm recording for the new version of the vlog. Where I'm going to just try to film stuff throughout the day for a few days and edit it together. As you can see, I'm uh, a lot more vibrant and awake. Besides this contact eye that I'm currently getting. <laughs> this is a sativa. You're fine. All of a sudden, Shannon, what's coming? No, the, the, what you said before. <laughs> the Dasha. The Dasha. The Dasha. I Wait. can't even do a fake. The Dasha. The Dasha from like East Coast accent comes in. It's not just East Coast. That is specifically Boston. Anywho, we ordered uh, dinner from a place called Kabuki, which is, uh, I feel like I brought it up in another vlog, but, you know, it's uh, just like Asian... Uh, fine dining. I don't know if it's really yeah. fine dining, but yeah, you know, it's not takeout, but it's like, you know, whatever. I don't know. Anyways, uh, they have enough variation on the menu to satisfy both Shannon and I's different needs. Yeah. So, uh, our Dasha is at Kabuki right now, <laughs> waiting for the food to be ready. The Dasha has been here. <laughs> some buckets down there, don't worry about that. Let's check it out. It's... Oh, I got this little food table. Because <laughs> we order so much food. And they threw confetti everywhere. This is a real celebration. Talking to the viewers at home. All right, this is what I got. I got the uh, shrimp tempura roll. Really enjoy that. This is some sesame chicken. It's a, an appetizer situation that you dip in this sauce, not an entree. But between these two things and this, uh, this salad here, I should be pretty satisfied. This is what Shannon got. I'm gonna sneak one of these. She's currently in a Netflix party. She won't even notice. Yeah, She's well, got headphones on. Not right now. She can't hear. This is how dinner's going down. At the Carter McGrew household for tonight. Dipping it up. <laughs> All right, this is what we're gonna have. Mug of treats, cake in a cup. I don't know if you guys have seen these. If you have, you're like, how does this work? I'm gonna show you. I'm not sure I'm gonna do this one handed. But I'll give it a shot. Got these packets. And the frosting. Pretty simple, actually. Even I can do it. Start by putting the packet in here. Get in there, packet. Next, we need three tablespoons of water. Next, we stir well until blended. Should probably use two hands for this. Now that doesn't look like a lot of batter. Don't worry, because cake is magic. Do not eat raw cake batter. Looks tasty, but don't do it. We'll micro for a minute and 10 seconds based on the wattage of my microwave. It's already starting to smell like some cakes. Take a look at that. Look how much that rose up. Now we need some frosting. So you take this packet here and you kind of just squeeze it out. Now it's not 
really going to look super awesome. But what's really happening here is that it's going to melt because the cake's so hot. And then it'll kind of distribute itself a little more evenly. So this isn't really for show as much as it is for awesomeness. Let's get all that stuff out of there. Last ingredient thing there is let stand two minutes to complete cooking. So it completes the cooking and the melting and all that stuff starts to happen. Let's check back in two minutes. All right, now you can see that it's melted and it's evenly distributed. I didn't do anything. Science did it. Look at that. <laughs> Don't you just want to eat that? That's what we're going to do. Why are we videoing eating cake in a cup? I just made it. Everyone wants to know, is it, is it delicious? Mm-hmm. I like it. Yeah? Is that melted goodness? Yeah. All right, Shannon approves. Mikey likes it. Uh, so Shannon just asked me, what are we gonna do if we're quarantined for a year? And I have the perfect solution. Uh, once we hit the six month part mark, <laughs> we're, uh, we're going to switch the living room with the bedroom. We're gonna put everything wow. in the living room and the bedroom, <laughs> the bedroom and the living yeah. room. <laughs> and that'll uh, definitely shake things up a bit. And then after that, if it's not shaken up enough, we're going to switch the kitchen with the bathroom. That'll be very challenging, but it'll definitely shake things up a bit. Why are you writing about me? I'm not. I was saying that if people wanted to do Netflix watch parties with me, to let me know. Okay. I also want to point out that our, our living room is in the middle of a re organization period. yeah yeah so you don't live in such squalor <laughs> yes we're just waiting to get another bookshelf sorry it is a mess right now stop looking at my shit <laughs> i'm going outside luckily this is um not a creepy king of video so i don't have to edit out your profanity whatever <laughs> this is what it's like to look when shannon looks at social media <laughs> Very common occurrence. Whatever. <laughs> okay, James, who spends three hours in bed doing work. That's social media. Yeah. It's work. What are you doing? I'm working. What are you working at? I'm working on getting a new job. Right now? That's what you're oh, doing? Oh, no. Right now, I'm just on. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what kind of job are you looking for? Nothing. On your Facebook feed. <laughs> Nothing. I'm looking... For the Baby Yoda job. What kind of a job is that? Where I just drink tea. And watch people. Goodbye. Hey gang, it's uh, Sunday, May 3rd. And we're out of the house. We're in a car. Can you believe it? No. We're in... <laughs> what, is that? what does that hand up mean? No video in the driver. Uh, uh, <laughs> Anyways, we are in a car and we're not in Huntington Beach. We're actually leaving Studio City or Sherman Oaks or where the hell she live? I don't remember what city she lives in. But <laughs> we're actually leaving uh, Kayla's house because we have returned her car to her. Uh, I borrowed her car earlier this year and then we had it during quarantine and then we ended up not really needing it during quarantine. And then I was just like moving it around for the past two months. Anyway, so we brought the car back. And this was like the first long drive we've been on in a while. Uh, two, about two weeks ago, we did drive to Lake Forest, which was a little, you know, a little bit of a, of a hike and back. But this is by far the longest drive that we've done. And, you know, we drove through L.A. And it's just so bizarre seeing no traffic and places that we have literally been in a crawl many times <laughs> um, we got to see Caleb uh, you know briefly from a uh, 
I mean, we were beyond social. I mean, we, I think we we're about like 30 feet away from her. Oh, uh, six feet. But, um, <laughs> And uh, I don't even remember the last time that I physically saw her. I don't even know. It might have been the night that. Um, I think it was the night we went to the house car event because that was right before quarantine. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was one of those things we did. Yeah, <coughs> the house of horror. H H A U S. My cough is from smoking weed. Yeah, they we're all good. <laughs> Uh, but uh, so that was a thrill. But we also earlier, right before we left, we had a surprise social distance visit from Debbie and Henry. So what was that like, Shannon? It was lovely. They, they brought, brought donuts. They brought donuts. I mean, if you're gonna visit, <laughs> bring donuts. I thought about bringing Kayla donuts, but she's not feeling well, and that might yeah. exacerbate the, <laughs> the situation. Anywho, yeah, we're we're just gonna be heading back home. We're going straight back home. I cannot believe that the ETA is 37 minutes <laughs> from north of Los Angeles to Huntington Beach in Orange County. And there's a giant minion. And there's a giant minion. Let's flip the camera around. Yeah, there's the minion. Right there. There's the minion. Passing Universal Studios, a place I miss. I miss. <laughs> I miss going there. I miss the events. I long to return to Universal Studios Hollywood. And uh, there's another shot of the minion, maybe. Yep, a little bit. Giant minion. I don't think you'd really see anything else on the freeway. I don't think so. Let's see. I'll keep it rolling. Can't see like Hogwarts or anything. I do miss Universal because I was thinking the only time I remember. When I was on the 101, remembering when it was so dead, was when we would drive out here for the running Universal events at well, like 4 a.m. There was the at yeah, 4 a.m. But don't forget when we went uh, Fourth of July last year. Oh, um, that's right. Yeah. We drove from uh, Roxy's house in Anaheim. Just put him in the garage. That's all the uh, Universal we could see from the freeway. I did hit a little snag when I was driving. Oh, on the way here. Yeah. By what's that big mall? The Citadel? Yes. Really? Yes. Uh, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't really hit traffic at all. There was just one area where I had to slow down. I we had to slow down. Yeah, but I would I wouldn't call it traffic, <laughs> especially by uh, LA standards. <laughs> That's true. But yeah. Well, we got out of the house. Went on a little adventure. Yeah. It's funny what qualifies as an adventure these days. <laughs> Could you imagine like six months ago if we're like we're just gonna drive to Kayla's house and then, and then turn around? Maybe we can like <laughs> we're gonna go through we're gonna do a little uh social distance distancing roll through uh Hollywood, is that what you wanna yeah. do? See a little bit of it just to I can fix it. I don't have the, yeah. Alright, let's do it. Well let's I have to get home and right, but I don't feel like I'm gonna get stuck in traffic, so no, well no, and uh you know it's really good for the people watching the vlog. <laughs> Oh, that's all I care about. Yeah, I can tell. Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> See a little hope, bit of the Capitol Records. I hope the homeless people have masks. Yeah, probably don't. No, I saw one homeless person and they had uh, a mask on. Alright, well we just were cruising yeah. around town and there's just there's people it's there's people out, not a lot, but a few. Not social distancing. Not wearing masks. Just walking right in the middle of the street, like who gives a, a darn hoot? The world is yours. Sorry to inconvenience you, by the way. That's pretty. That's the consensus of people walking around Hollywood is that they don't even need to like, you know, wait for crosswalks or anything like that. We're just gonna go wherever, <laughs> whatever. I've literally never seen it this desolate. Yeah, it's pretty dead. Here's the Chinese theater area, the El Capitan area, usually filled with lots of shenanigans. Practically shenanigan free. There was some guy break dancing over there. 
practically shenanigan free. You can't even get in there. Chinese is broke off. Bad at two songs. Two so shut down. Right there, at that spot at the bottom of those stairs, is where Shannon and I met Corey Feldman. And Danielle. And we met Danielle there too. No, Danielle was with us. <laughs> I don't, sure, I'm just saying. <laughs> That's where we met Corey Feldman. Danielle's not in the car right now. That's true. There's an Iron Man just creeping up there. Right on. Alright, we are we'll turn around and going back down. Home, and also so we can get a shot of the dinosaur. The dinosaur. <laughs> I'm not sure what words I was combining there. <laughs> I said dinosaur, giant dinosaur. Maybe I think that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> the dinosaur. <laughs> that is right fast. There's a closed L cap. There it is. The giant dinosaur. The mascot. Safety first, believe it or not. Arch your hands. Red or play it ready player one. <laughs> yeah. Lego. Was Lego there? Uh, I believe else? so. I'm sure many other things over the years. But yeah, the Pantages right there. We were supposed to see SpongeBob. We were supposed to see SpongeBob. That is not happening. <laughs> There's the famous pie hole. <laughs> There's the famous pie hole. It is famous. <laughs> Hamilton's there now. Didn't, didn't have tickets for that. <laughs> uh, yep. We got the Funko store coming up here on the right as well, or left, excuse me, I don't know why I said right. <laughs> there should, and there should be a giant. Uh, it's not there. Well, they took out the. Yeah. The, what's his name? Thanos. I was like, Thanos. There was a giant Thanos up there. But anyways, the Hollywood Boulevard is back to looking. <laughs> Like generic crap. Sorry, somebody was screaming at the skateboarders. What was he saying? I don't know, but he was like getting closer to my car as he was screaming at the skateboarders, so that was weird. I didn't like it very much. Yeah, I'm gonna suggest you stop honking at people that you're well, unpleased with. Fucking... <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> people around here might be a little bit so. All right, Shannon got her shelf in for her books. Um. Came in a little bit smaller than anticipated. Right, Shane? Yeah. We ordered it online. I was stupid and I didn't see, I didn't check the measurements because it looked like it was a bookcase. As an interior designer, I'm very mad at myself. Well, 
She thought they were these size, the size of those bookcases over there. <laughs> but they weren't. They weren't, but you know what? What? You take lemons and you made lemonade out of I it. I did. <laughs> Look at that. This is our roommate, Chauncey. Oh my God. He's a little shy. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk. What's up, Chauncey? Back in the car after a little romp at Target. The car shining their headlights right in my face, so I guess that's good lighting. Whew. Very warm. You know, the old mess fogs up the glasses, a little tough. Most people wearing masks, still a lot of people not wearing masks. A lot of people just moseying about just get a little too close to me and I'm just like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> but it's just still a battlefield going to Target. Usually I only go about once a week, but still, wow. Anywho, let's head on home. Chocolate rain. Worse than swearing, worse than calling me. Chocolate rain. Say it publicly in your insane chocolate rain. No one wants to hear about it now. Chocolate rain. Wish real hard it goes away somehow. Chocolate rain. Every February washed away. Chocolate rain. Stay stays behind us colors celebrate chocolate rain okay, this is a lot i'm done chocolate rain lifts the ark of paradise and say chocolate rain which part do you think you're living in chocolate rain and done chocolate rain no i'm done <laughs> chocolate brain Using you to fall back down again. Chocolate nope, rain. <laughs>